but sadly I cannot shop for myself much because I'm usually on the go and all of these things that I bought for him I am so sure that I will not end up using them for myself if I ever got it. It was a really cool sale yesterday and I was free in the daytime when I went there but of course I could not shop a lot I got this jacket from there. But that's the only thing I, I could take uh, sadly because I cannot carry a lot of luggage with me. Uh, that's why I avoid buying too many things. Most of the digital nomads would of course make sure that their finances are all set before they start traveling. but. Um, even uh, even being able to earn and not being able to shop is is something that that I think I'm slowly getting used to now. So what I plan to do is the stuff that I got from India. Maybe I will give that for donation. And for example, these new new things I bought, which I can wear more uh, in this weather, I can keep them and maybe donate some of the stuff that I got from India. And that way, it also adds to sustainability. Um, it doesn't add up in the dump, and I I think it's a good practice uh, being on the go, uh, being able to also purchase or and also to make other. And it's like 3 p.m. on a Friday afternoon, and I'm roaming around. I just did some um, very brief shopping for a friend, but. I will now be starting my day at 4 p.m. These are also some weird things that that we experience. I can be taking an off from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. on a random weekday, and then be working at 2 a.m. in the midnight on a Saturday. <laughs> so because in India we don't have daylight saving, and coming to Europe the days and night times and the length of day fluctuates so much. It's just it it's really stressful to see how the day just went by and sometimes I did not do anything productive or sometimes I'd be like working for 13 hours and I did not even realize it's uh, it's already 11 p.m. So it has been weird uh, experiencing all of this, but super new experience. I'm learning a lot about my own body, a lot about my own potential, how long I can work because it can it can stretch up to 13 hours as well. Of course, I don't uh, suggest or even want to do it. Um, but yes, this is this is a super super weird experience. I forgot to wear my earrings today, but I used them for uh, for my SIM card pin, <laughs> and that's also something super weird that uh, only perhaps international digital nomads would experience carrying a SIM card pin everywhere because you never know when you have to switch. Uh, to which sim card for for the OTPs or for some kind of transactions or for some kind of calls or data packs. And on a Friday night at 12 a.m. at a party, I'm taking client calls here. be sure to be ready for this if you are going to be an international digital nomad but every day is a new day right new cafes new streets new places new cities new experiences and that's how it's going that's how i'm taking it one day at a time and keep following me for learning more about my digital nomad experience and more knowledge about how you could set up this dream life for yourself as well see you in my next video